Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to program E Belajar Jabatan Pendidikan Negeri Melaka. This is subject Science for Form 1. Together with me, Teacher Azlina Binti Awang from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Tinggi Perempuan Melaka. So, today I will explain on Chapter 1, Introduction to Scientific Investigation on the Content Standard 1.3, Physical Quantities and their Unit. So, okay, first of all, you all must know what is meant by physical quantities. Physical quantities are physical characteristics that can be measured. So, what are the physical characteristics that can be measured? Okay, let's see the next bit, next slide. Okay, we measure length for this table. So, length is one of physical quantities. Groceries, we measure their mass. Eh? Mass of sugar, mass of flour here. And it is shown on the packaging. Where are here? And one kilogram. So the SI unit here is kilogram. Temperature. We measure electric current. Okay, so those are base quantity. So some of base quantity that we are going to learn in Form 1 is length, mass, time, temperature, and electric current. So the SI unit for length is meter. Uh, meter. Okay, and the symbol for meter is M, small m. The SI unit for mass is kilogram. The symbol is kg, small k for kilo, time second, and symbol is small s. Temperature, the SI unit for temperature is Kelvin, capital K. And electric current, the SI unit is ampere. Ampere. The symbol is capital A for ampere. Okay. So, basically, we are going to learn the conversion of this five base quantity. Okay, what if uh, we have a very big number or a very small number, 0 0.000325 uh, or very big number, uh, 3000. So, we use prefix prefixes to simplify the way we write the value okay so we have prefix here this these are called prefix eh? we have giga mega kilo kilo is one uh, of very common prefix that we use uh, deci centi centimeter okay the centi is prefix Milli, millimeter, uh, the milli is prefix, micro and nano. Nano is very small value. Okay, look at the value here. Eh? So, what you student must know is the value for all the prefix. Eh? Uh, for example, um, kilo, okay. Uh, the value is 1000. So, you have to memorize all this value. Okay, giga, mega, kilo, deci, centi, milli, micro, and nano. Okay, and the standard form. What is meant by 10 to the power of 9? 10 to the power of 9 means you time 10, 10 times, 10, uh, sorry, 9 times, times 10, times 10, 9 times, times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, Times 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, 10 to the power of 9 mean you times 10 for 9 times. Okay, then you got the value here. 
Okay, so the symbol for giga is G, capital G, mega, capital M, uh, kilo, K, deci, D, centi, C, milli, M, micro, mu, eh, mu. Okay, and nano, and Okay, so these are prefix. These are called prefix. The symbol and value. Okay. Okay, let's see some example of converting units of base quantity. First one is mass. How do you convert from 1,500 gram to kilogram? So what you do is, you use the prefix for kilo just now. The value for kilo is 1,000. So you divide this value, 1,500, to the value of prefix kilo, 1,000. Then you got your answer, 1.5 kilogram. You divide the value. Okay. What if you have kilogram and you want to convert it into gram? Okay, again the value for kilo is 1000, but then you multiply the value to 1000. Uh, because you want to convert from kilogram, prefix here, to gram, no prefix. Eh? Gram, no prefix. Okay, so you got your answer, 531 gram. This is uh this is how you write your answer yeah, in uh, in science uh, pri uh standard uh, secondary school sorry girls secondary school okay length let's say you have zero point five three one kilometer and the question wants you to convert into meter. From prefix kilo to no prefix meter. Okay, base quantity with no prefix. So what you do is, you multiply uh, the value to the value of prefix. The value of uh, kilo is 1000. So you multiply by 1000. Then you got your answer. Uh? Okay, let's see this example. If you have 5,310 meter, you want to convert into kilometer, then what you must do is you divide, uh, you divide by the value of kilo, which is 1,000. Then you got your answer. But what if you have 5,310 meter? But you want to convert into centimeter. You have a prefix centi here. Eh? But centi is smaller than meter. Uh, smaller than meter. So what you have to do is 5310. Then eh? you multiply by the value for centi which is 100. Uh, then you got bigger number. Five three one zero 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 centimeter. Okay. So the way you use the value for prefix eh, depends on um, the type of prefix, eh, whether it is uh, bigger than the basic uh, quantity, the base quantity, or smaller than the base quantity. Okay. Okay, example of converting time from 5 hour 31 minute to minute. We know that for 1 hour we have 60 minutes. So, you multiply uh, 5 hour with 60 and then you add the 31 minute. You got your answer. Okay, same if you want to convert from minute to hour, then you divide the value for hour uh, 60, then here the answer.
Okay, so what are the importance of this SI unit? Huh? Why do we need to use this SI unit? Okay, to allow accurate exchange of data. Huh? Make it easier for scientists all over the world to communicate at international level to avoid confusion. And it provides a consistent system of units. So these are benefits of using SI units. Okay, so that's all from me. Uh, thank you for watching. Wait for my next video. Okay, bye.